I'm logging in as a moderator. You can see the icon under role, which indicates a moderator role, and I'm also the current presenter. You can see it under status. Now, Dennis has just joined, but he's joined neither as the moderator or as the current presenter. He's actually just a viewer. Now, the other video, the student video, shows you how to join um, the voice conference bridge, share webcam, and chat, but I'm just going to chat briefly with Dennis here. To upload a presentation, you click the Upload Presentation button. It asks you to choose a presentation on your computer. Here I'm choosing a PDF file. You can choose any Microsoft Office compatible document. Clicking Upload will upload the presentation to the server, which converts it into a format that everybody can see. They can see it in the presentation window. Now as presenter, you have control over this window. First, there's a red dot underneath the cursor. This enables all the viewers to see exactly what you're pointing at. You can click the right arrow to go next slide, next slide. Again, I can point here and all the students can see. Clicking the left arrow goes back. If you click on the current slide number, a film strip appears where you can then click an icon of a slide and it will take you directly to that slide. Now you can zoom in with the thumb wheel or with the uh, slider. And again, you can point out to highlight things. You can zoom out with a thumb wheel or just click the reset zoom button. Now as a moderator, you can make other people presenters. So here I'm going to click on Dennis, click the make presenter icon, and you can see his status is now presenter and the red dot is moving around. So I can follow what Dennis is pointing at and I can see him changing the slides. To make myself presenter, I'm just going to click my name and click the make presenter icon again. As a moderator, you have control over the voice conference. So I'm going to join the voice conference bridge and in a moment, Dennis will join as well there. Now there's a speaker icon to the left of Dennis's name. As a moderator, I can use that speaker icon to mute or unmute a particular listener. Just by clicking on it, Dennis is now muted. And I can click again to unmute. Now, you'll notice there's a lock icon as well. If there are lots of listeners, it's tedious to mute and unmute everybody. But if I lock myself as unmuted, I can now use the global mute all and unmute all to mute and unmute everybody else. So I'll leave everybody else as muted, which means that new users are also joining as muted. I can finally, I can eject a viewer by just, a listener by just clicking on their name and clicking the eject listeners icon. I also have the ability to desktop share as well as a presenter. To start your desktop sharing, just click the desktop sharing icon at the top, accept the Java applet, and a thumbnail window will appear showing you what remote users will see. Now you can't resize this window as a presenter, but the remote users, the remote viewers can resize the window. But let's see how it works. If I start up Microsoft Word, I'm going to type a few letters in here. Because I'm sharing my desktop, all the remote viewers can see my desktop. And you can see this that I'm going to minimize. There, the thumbnail window shows here's what's currently uh, being presented to remote users. You saw the, the Word document there briefly. To stop desktop sharing, just close the thumbnail window. Finally, you can click help and click log out to end the session.